All right, we have a Ralph Rawl in the top left of Ohana LE, and we got me, HXR Smurf, uh, in the bottom right. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to do a normal opener of 15 pool, 15 hatch, and then expand around 4 minutes or 18 food. And he is actually going to try to foregate me, I believe. And luckily I scout that because he didn't put a nexus here while I was scouting. And somehow my overlord spotted this pylon, but I don't think it would have mattered whether or not if I've spotted the pylon or not. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Sweet. So just normal opening. Fast forward that. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Normal, normal, normal. Yeah. Alright, so then he puts two. He puts a gate down, cyber core, teleport. I just got my hatch down. APM's pretty good, pretty good. So. I think I put down an extractor because I see that he for some reason he's he doesn't have an expansion yet so I put yeah I throw it on an extractor right now so I can get speed and I get a roach worm pretty quickly um, because I know I know something's coming but I don't know exactly what so I made a couple links to scout for four pylons and these links just happened to miss them because they were on uh, they were on move I guess I thought I put them on uh, attack move but whatever um, if I had been watching my mini map more closely I would have been able to spot that but not too big of a deal because I still catch I still catch his uh, X gate I don't know what he did though okay so we got one gate two zealots coming out put his four alert forward pylon. I haven't seen it yet, but I will very quickly. So I move my overlord just to make sure everything's going all right, and I also move a, uh, a ling in. So one, two, three, yeah, four gates. So for some reason his zealots were on hold position instead of attack, and I was able to see, oh, all these gates going down. I think I only noticed these three gates, but I assume that one was the fourth. And then my overlord has not spotted that yet. I was just making some overlords because I was preparing. I already had this third overlord in position. I was preparing to take a third base. But obviously I wouldn't want to because that's 300 minerals that I would need to defend. So now that I see that, I put I throw down a spine crawler. I'll throw down a spine crawler and uh, bring my queen down. Luckily my roach... Ro Roach Worm will pop up just in time. So then this Overlord is going to see that pylon. And it's going to be really close. It'll be a, definitely a close call because he's turning his gateways into uh, warp gates. So then I, I. Yeah, I do. I do see his two zealots moving out. And I, then I see this huge warp end. So I. Uh, I should have pulled this Overlord back, but luckily there were just zealots. And wow, lots of zealots. Another forward pylon. I don't, I'm not sure why I put it there. You should just put it like outside my base. So I got a little creep spread going. Might help a little bit. I could have moved my spine crawler up at first. I could have made it right here. But I have my three queens and I have five roaches popping out. I'm making as many roaches as possible. I could have taken another gas, but it was really risky. So we got, we got 10 zealots coming in, and I got 3 queens, lings, and roaches. So I start to target fire each uh, each zealot down. I could What I could have done is put my lings on move position on the spine crawler to defend it a little better, or even the queens. But then I just kind of target fire, and there's so much damage going on right here. He tries to warp in 4 more stalkers, but I got 7 roaches, and I creep spread even more. Because I knew I won this battle. I mean, look at the food. It's already... I'm already 20 food ahead. So then I see his stalkers, I chase out for them. And uh, if he hadn't left the game, I would have probably just held back. I wouldn't have tried to move in. I would have just tried to macro up and go maybe to uh, aspire. But it, he just wanted to leave. So here I did a little, tiny little bit of micro. 
a little before this, but uh, yeah, there we go. Pull that thing back, and good, good game, well played. Pretty intense match, and I'm surprised I defended a 4K. I usually lose against those because I'm not a good scouter. But uh, this guy was ranked 10 in gold, North, Amer North American Gold League. And I am currently number 2 Gold League, North America. Thanks, have a nice day.